Well, here. Mm. It's here. Looks like I got them in. I think I was talking about this earlier this week and what we got in is Bad Cubes Piper, which is their version of pipes. And we'll see what we got here. Coming right off the back, excuse me, I, right off the box, right out of the box, I mean. Sorry, I got a cold. Just uh, getting over it. <clears throat> Believe it or not, just a typical cold. Uh, nothing COVID related. Amazingly, so so let's see what we got right out the box for this. Um, oh, I thought it had some, thought it had some tape on it, but it doesn't. Uh, and what in the world? That's what this a cog, a transformation cog, and some face plates that are kind of. Scattered all over the place. I had to take a quick look at a quick look at those later. Um, but finally here, um, Bad Cubes pipes. Their version, like I said before. Um, the Bad Cube Piper actually. Oh, come a little, it's transformed in the hood. Um, feels. Ooh, when I get into the feel section yet, yeah, let me let me start with. The looks okay. You gotta plug these in. Um, the look of it, um, no issue. Um, of course, it comes transformed already in its alt mode. I'll have to get it into the its uh, blow by mode for that section. Um, but so far, just judging from the look, um. I have no qu no no qualms about it. It looks see the hands right there a little bit in the back. Um, this is probably a figure no one's really taken a look at in a while, so it's kind of nice to get this fresh approach, nice clear windshield. Uh, some people have a problem with it; they like their windshields and their look throughs a certain way. But actually, that doesn't bother me. If I want to get a toy hack sticker and, and and get some of that stuff cell shaded, then that that's up to me. Um, but to me, I have no issue with clear windshields and seeing inside the the bots a little bit that you know these are transformers you know they're not going to be perfect mp10 trailer already built into it and uh plastic wheels which i'm not a fan of but i know this is an older vehicle so from the look of it um and just judging from the size of it for a mini bot um you know this is the mini bot version of this, the third season of for huffer and the replacement for huffer <laughs> So to just look at it and to just see the size of it, um, you know, no no qualms really. Um, you look at the X-Trans bots uh, breakdown here, and just comparing the size of these figures, um, it's not really. Um, it's got a good size to it, you know, comparably, um, just for the look of it. So yeah, no no problems. Um, looks don't really take a whole lot to it. Um, I'll put up a pic of what it looks like in the um, in the alt mode, uh, as far as what it looks like on the screen, and as far as the pick I'm using and how it looks, you know, for the lack of a better pick, I guess, um, it's <laughs> comparably it looks uh, spot on enough, and then um, you know, better in some ways, better than the G1 pick. That's kind of a lame G1 pick a little bit, but that's the one I'm using. Um, but yeah, um, no problems with it at all. Let's get to the feel. So as far as the feel section, this this is where this gets dated. Um, this is where you can you can feel um, you know a little die cast in the feet. Um, I think um, there may be another place somewhere in the body you might have die cast. I'm starting down it. The weight, it, like I said, it's good weight. It, it's okay. The weight's okay. It's nothing. You can feel it. But it's nothing heavy, heavy. Nothing like the late 
you know, rigged, fans toys rigged or nothing like that, nothing compared to that. But it's got good size, and um, as far as the feel of it is concerned, it feels fine. I have no issue with it. Um, you know, this is more in line. When we get down to the transformation in the alt mode, we'll have more to deal with. We have another look section. But as far as, as, far as the feel is concerned, it, this is more in line about what I expected. You know, this is okay with me. Um, when I... Because when I, when I think about Pipes, um, he's not one of my favorite figures, but I like all the figures. I like I like all the Autobots, all their personalities, and even the Decepticons, all their they, they fit so well into that um, into that mythology or whatever you want to call it. Um, um, in Pipes, it's not like um, it, it, my kids, they grew up with probably more in the line with, um, you know, Beast Wars. I mean, not Beast Wars. Um, oh, yeah, it is it's Beast Wars. And uh, Transformers, Energy, all that stuff is, is, is not me. I, I, that's a latter generation. And so, you know, when I get characters like this that are not necessarily my top characters, I'm still just pleased to have a representation of them. And this one, when I saw um, older videos and I seen, um, you know, from, from older pics, you know, I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll be good having this. So hoping we get to alt mode, get to Transformation, you know, we'll, we'll see more things come through to where I can speak on. So when I think about pipes, um, I think of a player of one that's he's more of like a mechanic. He's actually, uh, I think, in the first two or three episodes, um, uh, the, the five episode season three starter. Um, he kind of led the Autobots trying to protect Channel Train One against Tripicon's attack, and um, he, he was definitely a it seemed like a leader type bot to the rest and can take command if necessary. Um, so. You know, that personality is always welcome in my universe, and, and I always see him as definitely a, a one that can take a man and also one that can fix, I hope, anything. Huffer was supposed to be um, the, his replacement. It was supposed to be one that could fix, uh, generally a mechanic that could fix and build anything. Um, so I guess uh, the latter editions of Grapple and Hoist and, and characters like that kind of took that away from Huffer and never got that part truly developed. But either way, they all... Back then, before those characters showed up, they were able to build the Dinobots and some their best fighters ever. So let's get on to mechanics, transformation, see what's going on from there. Okay, transformation's done getting toward the mechanics section but you know just to stay say straight up i mean to talk straight up i'm sorry i'm got a cold and i'm not i don't have talk right even when i don't um <clears throat> getting over it though i'm pretty i feel pretty good today just not sounding so great that transformation was pretty easy and simple i watched just a quick little vid on it <laughs> and then i just watched it like five not not long at all and i was able to do this pretty quick so i'm actually pleased with that you know um this amazed me um, look at that horrendous backpack. Talk about clip jumper. Let's not even go there to X Transbots clip jumper. But this actually amazed me a little bit because even with that backpack, it's kind of lightweight. When I was transforming it, it stood up on his legs with no problem. Even when that backpack was laying was on the ground, I put another pickup showing you that when that was pretty much headed toward the that long extension, that long extension that's in here, and how it was laying back and it still stayed up it still stayed up on his feet that's some good die cut it, the, the tolerance here for the balance on the feet and the legs are actually good I, I'm, I'm quite impressed um it's the look i like uh, putting up the starting with the looks even though we're in the mechanics section um when i look at the the pick that i picked to put up earlier this time we're focusing more on the robot um the, the likeness of him is to me is not bad at all um, it is close enough <laughs> if, if I can have that liberty. Um, I'm looking at the pick again, um, just taking a quick little peek at it. And yeah, um, it, it's not perfect. Um, we can see that, um, you know, they try to do a few things um, here on the pick. Probably not enough detail on the chest compared to the pick, but the face sculpt is not bad. Um, I'll put a sticker probably up here and then one on top of his cab, you know, when he gets to alt mode. But, um, you know, actually, I'm well pleased with this. It's really a, a great 
not just a good, actually a great likeness of them, except for this. That's when that new Fans Choice one is coming out. You know that one's coming out to, <laughs> it's going to make that look shame. I'm actually okay with this. I don't have to have a fan store or expensive version. I paid $60 for this thing, and I'm good. So um, if, I, if Pipes was like a more major character to me, which I do like Pipes, but if he was a more major character to me, I think I would. Uh, let's do a quick articulation test. And, 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 it, and it doesn't really have to. You can't go all the way around because of this. But this would go all the way 360 to the, 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 the arms. And this is not ratcheted at all. I don't think there's any place in here that's ratcheted. It's an older figure. It's all friction. Uh, nothing, nothing ratcheted. Um, I'm not really worried about the full range either. Um, I think it's articulative enough to get you get some poses. I'm actually really impressed with these die cast feet that can hold this this whole I don't want to take it apart because it's connected at four different places. It connects with the shoulders and it connects in the back with the wheels uh, upon the thing. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that if I just had to have tickets, you know, the ugly, horrendous backpack, I still can get the poses and stuff I need if I was ever doing animation or something on it. I'm not really I'm not really worried about it. So yeah, full fully friction, but it, it feels good in hand. It doesn't feel bad at all. And um yeah, you know, um that's just what I wanted. I, I got what I wanted, except for the plastic wheels. I like that's something I have to just get over. But I like rubber wheels. Just some size comparisons there. This is old good old friend Beachcomber who's a little taller head wise. Um and um then here's this fans toys breakdown <laughs> just to show you how much taller um these these are than the you know than the others you know this is a good size difference um uh maybe i have another x transbot figure um already transformed up but that'll be right here dead end for x transbots and see how it sizes up with them so, and I also wanted to show just a quick couple of heads. So I like this transformation cog. I think that's a cool include when he was running down, um, trying to transform it into the, the last episode of the first season three's fifth five parter. It shows you with that big transformation cog running to try to put it in a Metroplex so that he can face Trip Trypticon. Here's one of the face plays here. Um, this is probably the G1 toy face plate. Um, look like the eyes are red in the face. <laughs> like a little old robot from the, the old Atari game Berserk. Have you guys ever seen <laughs> the old Atari game Berserk? That's what this looks like. Um, those eyes and stuff shooting lasers and crap. Those robots on that game. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to reveal my age more. That's probably not a good thing. And here's another um, uh, face plate that they have here. You know, compared to the one that comes with it, you know, it's kind of like plain blue eyes. And then this one has more like, this one has more like red eyes. Yeah, this one has, yeah, you can't see the blue probably good on my camera, but it's a blue, it's more, it's more bluish. These are red. So, you know, your preference, your preference. I guess that's how they say it in French. But, um, yeah, um, good figure, no complaints. Um, you want a cheaper figure? You don't want to wait for fans to always pick it up. Um, it feels good. It just has a humo humongous backpack. But hey, guess who else does? <clears throat> this guy. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Back then, this is the early days of Masterpiece. Staring, whoops. Staring right at you. Humongous backpacks. Before they got a little more technical and complex to where they can <laughs> try to hide up that and make things. I hope the whole next Ultra Magnus, I hope they really get that going right so that it, it, even if it's a smaller vehicle mode, that's okay with me. Just get rid of all that extra stuff, you know, uh, X Transbots, whoever takes it on, even after X Transbots does, get rid of all that extra stuff. I'm all, I also want to put a, a quick comparison before I, I end the video of, of my. Uh, X Trans by Jansen. Uh, there was an episode where he's not, you know, Jansen's not, he's still in microscope mode, but there was an episode when Pipes came and and uh, some kind of time machine was made by the Quintessons and 
Pipe came and tried to help Perceptor out when he got knocked unconscious. So I think that's kind of a cool reference to um, that episode. But yeah, good kind of size comparisons here. Short guy, but he's supposed to be as a mini bot. And, um, you know, really, really good. Uh, if, if that backpack wasn't so humongous, it would be great. All right. Well, that, that sums up mechanics and uh, just an extra look. And uh, just put up my scorecards later, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. It's a pleasure doing these. Hope you enjoy.